Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the House of Shred. My name is Brett. Um, I watched a Rick Beato short the other day where uh, he was playing some cool stuff in D Dorian. And he had this really cool string of arpeggios at the end of the video. And really all he had to say about it, other than just putting up some chord shapes or some arpeggio shapes, which was really kind of merciful, was I'm playing a mix of groups of five and four. And that does make it sound really cool. Um, you had this kind of vibe going. But really, to make this lick really just roll, you got to pay attention to the pick slanting on, on, the, on the pick. <laughs> so let's, let's look at the arpeggios and let's look at the, pay close attention to the way the pick is slanted, whether down or up. Um, and the reason for pick slanting, uh, you know, there are, there are a few of them, but it's to facilitate moving down or up against the strings. So we start out with two C form arpeggios. First is D minor. Notice I'm down and then up. And then immediately that lap with that last pick stroke, I switch to a down, a downward pick slant so I can start the next arpeggio, which is a C major. And then uh, the next is a G7. So this time there are two consecutive notes on a single string. So one is gonna have an up, upward slant, and the uh, that's where I make the switch to a downward pick slant. So this is a two-way pick slanting lick. And then next we have a D minor seven arpeggio. So I think like a, just your normal D minor bar chord with a flat seven there. And then a, an F major nine arpeggio. This one's cool because when you end one, your pick is resting on the next string, which is the next note, you, next string you need to play for the C major nine. Arpeggio. But it's the same shape, just uh, one set of strings up. And then there's an upstroke on the D note with that nice minor 11 chord. And usually people play it like that with that third string fretted, but he leaves it open. It just has such a cool vibe. Uh, that seems to be a chord that a, a lot of YouTubers are playing all the time. There's some like YouTuber chords and YouTuber licks, and I'm trying to stay away from those. But anyway, this is a video about a YouTuber and he plays a non-YouTuber chord. G, D minor nine. So we put the whole thing together. It might take me a couple of tries because this is this is a little bit outside my wheelhouse, but it's it's great and it's something I'm really trying to incorporate more in my playing. And it's one of these things that it's kind of hard to do slow. Like you know, if you were trying to walk too slow, you start falling down. This is kind of kind of a similar deal. What I would do is just take a pair of arpeggios, let's say D minor and C. Really just get them wired so that you can play it without thinking. Build the muscle memory. And um, these are these are great for all kinds of things. And maybe you could make it kind of maniacal sounding. I'm gonna take the, the minor one. I'm just gonna bring it down by half steps and see how obnoxious it is. Yeah, it gets, gets kind of annoying. Uh, then I would move to the next two, which would be C major and G7. And 
and then G7 to D minor 7. This is another one where you play a downstroke ending the, the G7 on the third string, and you start the D minor 7 with a continued downstroke on the second string. And this is also where that transition is between a five note pattern and a four note. All right, so then the next uh, pair would be D minor seven, oh, and then F major nine. So we're going from a four note to a five note. Ah, oh, man, I, I keep muting my uh, third string by accident. That'll happen. And then the last two. All right, if I can get it right myself. Here's the whole thing one more time before we wrap up. Nice and slow. Ow, oh, too slow. So uh, I'm going to go try to find the video and link it in the description. Uh, YouTube limits what you can do with shorts, but... Um, I'm sure it's still out there somewhere. Uh, anyway, uh, if you made it this far, uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, hope, hope you learned something. If you have any questions, if I missed anything, if I've just glossed over something, uh, go ahead and drop, drop me a comment and I will see if I can clear it up for you. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.